fucking video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications bell, give this bitch a thumbs up, share this motherfucker, all that shit, all that shit, all that shit, you feel me? So, um, real quick, B.O.B. again, got on the same, uh, crew that from the last video. Shout out to Cali Chulo, Cali Chulo Clothing, Cali Chulo Clothing, make sure y'all follow him on the gram, he got some good shit, black on, go support black on. I know you everybody knows what was going on with this whole Malik Yoba, you know, um, situation is going on it's came, it's came out that or he came out whatever that he likes trans women or whatever he's trying to trans women that's kind of been trending for like the last week or so and he was recently on the breakfast club this interview just dropped like i just watched this shit or whatever right and i didn't even watch the whole thing i got like i got through majority of it probably like to like the last 20 or 30 minutes or so yeah, probably the last 20 minutes i got through most of this shit though and y'all when i tell you this was the worst fucking interview i've ever seen in my this this interview was all over the goddamn place. And you know what? When I originally looked at it, I didn't even pay no mind until like I halfway through the video and started scrolling through the comments. There's like 6,000 dislikes on this motherfucker. And there's, it's like way many, way more dislikes on this video than there is more likes. Because this shit is just all over the fucking place. Like, this shit is terrible, okay? The comment section was a fucking mess. That shit was a mess. Niggas was going in on these niggas. Not only was Malik Yoba going up, was up there, but he brought this gay black dude who was up there. And these two trans women that was up there. One was like RuPaul, the other one, I don't know. She, she did some shit. But yeah, there were all these people up here that was supposed to have a conversation about trans women, the trans community and the black community, whatever. Even though they trying to say it was about the trans trans women and the black community, my nigga, it was really just about LGBT. Like, it was not, it really, they, they trying to slide black people in there and like put, do that intersectionality bullshit and try to say, you know, homophobia in the black community and you know what I'm saying, all this other bullshit. They try to slide that in there subliminally and, and like in some parts of the, of the conversation, but for the most part, it was really just about Malik Yoba and the LGBT. Like, that was pretty much what the fuck up. More so the T. And so, number one, Malik was fucking rambling the whole interview. Like, it was even a part of the interview where even Charlamagne was like, oh, okay, well, y'all acting like men. He was talking about him and the gay dude. Like, oh, yeah, y'all really acting like men not letting the trans woman talk. Like, da, da, da. And that's a fact. Like, this nigga Malik was rambling the whole fucking interview. Like, this nigga was dead splaining the whole interview about how he not gay. Like, first of all, he kept trying to say, oh, I didn't come out. I stepped up as a black man. Did it. Like, that's what I mean. They tried to really pull in that intersectionality bullshit or, like, the black community stepping up for LGBT. Oh, yeah, you know, it's a black man. I had to step up and, and be proud. And I, I'm attracted to trans women and da 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 All this other bullshit. Like, he was just really splaining, like, really just talking way too much about how he thinks he's heterosexual, he's not gay, he likes women, trans women are women, all this other bullshit. Like, he was really, like, trying to press that fuck issue. Even when people, like, mistakenly say, like, yeah, we thank Malik for coming out, he'll be like, no, I stepped up. Oh, yeah, but, you know, we're inviting him. Yeah, no, I, I stepped up, though. Oh, yeah, but, you know, you, you know, when he came out, it was, no, 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 I stepped up. I was like, nigga, come on, just come out the closet. We know your ass was in the goddamn closet. You came out the fucking closet. Matter of fact, the gay dude even go. Welcome to my new favorite game. Drink it because these people are so dumb. Mmm, delicious, you fucking cunt. Now, let's just, let's just calm down, all right? All right? Uh, let's say it here. He's not gay. Jesus fucking Christ. If you saw your son with a trans woman, would you think he's gay? God damn it. No, bitch. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to. I grew up in Alabama, Texas, Missouri, wherever it's not allowed to be gay. I don't know where you from. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> no. Seriously, he's not gay. The whole point of trans women is this woman at the end of the sentence. And she's getting hounded on this shit on Twitter. Like, straight up. On Twitter. She's just like, oh, hey, trans trans women are biological men. Look, fine. You can say that. You got it. You can say fine. They, they, you, they had to go through the process of being a boy before they become a woman, maybe. But when you're outright, just go, no. They, they're not even women now. Like, even though you're a trans woman, you're not a woman. You're, you're fucking... You're not, you're not even... You're just a man. Like... Come on, there's going, oh, fine. You're a woman, but I, I just guess I'm bio biological. You know, I see you, like, as a buff dude, kind of. Like, and I don't mean, like, oh, they're women. I'm saying, biologically, you still have stuff that makes you a dude. 
But you know, you're a pretty woman. Maybe you can get around. Like, if you're gonna give, if you're gonna say something rude, at least make it sound nice. Like, he's not gay. Like, this is something that happens with so many people. Is um, I'm gonna sum this up because so many f- people who are straight, you don't know, find trans women attractive, and people will make fun of them because they think trans women are attractive and go, "Oh, you're a fucking faggot," and I'm sitting like there, like they're not fucking gay. Like, come on. Like, if your friend likes women, he likes the feminine form, that's not gay. I feel like shaming people for liking what they like is only going to cause trouble, and it does. Why do you think so many heterosexual men, when they're called a faggot, when they like trans women, they end up, you know, harassing or hurting trans women? Like, what do you think happens? You're telling them they're not straight when they've been straight their whole lives. They like the feminine form. And trans women have a female form. Like, look at a trans woman right now. Literally, this type of trans woman. You're probably going to see most of them look like women. And you're going to be like, oh, shit. These look like beautiful fucking women. Because they're women. That's the simple. Like, and, and it's cause, and it's cause, let me ask you this right now. If you were to date a beautiful woman only to find out she's trans, would you A, end the relationship? B, continue the relationship? It didn't ruin anything before. Or C, Trans panic. Murder that bitch. She didn't tell me that shit for somehow long. I don't fucking know. Get rid of that bitch. Dead. No. You're gonna take option B or take option A. Maybe you, you, you don't, you're not ready for a relationship, you know, yet. You dated this person, but you haven't done anything. And it makes you uncomfortable, you know, because they don't have the right genitalia. But you still, at least, you didn't choose option C. Option B means you were able to, you know, overcome that issue. But if you really love that person, then you're able to overcome a lot of bullshit. Yes, having kids is something a lot of people want. And for the most part, men can just be a sperm donor. Let me just spray spray and play, baby. That's simple fucking math. Hell, if I end up being a trans woman, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to not get HRT till I get a girl pregnant. Uh, fucking, I have my back, my, my, my big missile ready to launch. Anytime, babies. I'm so fucking, hasta la vista, baby. We gonna launch that shit into the baby Barker. I'll be back. Okay, that's enough Terminator jokes before I get a lawsuit. No, but seriously. When you love somebody, you know what you don't do? You don't give up on them. You don't stop loving them. Motherfucker, I, I look, we all have, a, have had our hearts broken or at least fallen in love. I had my heart broken like once. Like, like straight up, just once. Like straight up once in my life. And it's, it was pretty sad. And she was like the perfect girl, and I'm I'm gonna be honest. I will never forget her fucking name because you never forget your first ex's name. Like I'm not, I'm gonna straight up. Her name was Julissa, and I'm just like, bro, you don't understand. Like it hit me real hard, cause like, guys, I mean, I dated two girls, but like, like out like around the time before we started dating, etc. Like guys, I'm not that perfect. I'm a fucking scumbag. Like, welcome to the club. <laughs> No, but seriously, I dated one girl, and then I dated her, and I've never been happier my entire life, and I just got fucking destroyed. Like, I felt like I got shot. But that's what love is. Sometimes, you know, you end up with people, and sometimes you don't forget. Sometimes you do. I dated a Julissa. I dated a Jada. It's how things play out, man. Motherfucker. I'm dating a girl right now, and she's been with me for a while. And she's a nice girl. It's simple. When you're with people, you love them. And you gotta put up with some of the stuff. You don't have to think it's perfect. But if you love them, it's enough to spend your time with them. I don't think I'm gonna force you to love somebody. If you don't love them, then you wouldn't have been with them in the first place. Goes as far as to say, well, coming out is just like, that's a white term for white white people to come out of their closet and be gay and go to gayborhoods. And blah, blah, blah. we're just like, okay, my nigga, let's just be real. Coming out just means you coming out to the world, to your family, whatever case may be, may be that you're fucking gay. Okay, even though Malik is sitting up here saying that he's not gay, nigga, you're gay. I'm sorry, like, trans Trans women are women, you fucking don't. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you assert your authority on things you don't understand, you wench? How dare you? How fucking dare you and your fucking mockery of the female race, you fucking wench? You dirty whore! You bubbling buffoon! We good here? We got that fucking joke done here, guys? She, 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 trans women are women. That's the whole point. 
if a man finds the e the female form attractive, then that's good enough. Look, I get it. Cross dressers exist, but cross dressers, you know, acknowledge yo, I'm a dude or I'm a gay dude. And cross dressers can be female too. Yo, I'm a fucking straight girl or I'm a lesbian. Motherfucker, trans women are women. Yes, trans women can be lesbians. Yo, fuck women. I'm a woman. Jesus Christ. Can't people get it through their fucking thick heads? Same thing with trans men. If I see a woman dating a trans man, I'm like, oh, cool for you. I'm not going to go be an asshole. I don't date trans men because I'm not gay. If I did, I'd be sucking off like the, 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 the dick thing. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Packers or something. Yeah, whatever that is. Yes, because that's what that's what trans men are. They're fucking men, just like hot trans women are fucking women. You fucking don't. God fucking damn your fucking mahogany bullshit. Not a real fucking woman. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. The nigga is gay. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's cool with you, bro. Don't sit up there and try to put on his face like you had a like you were a heterosexual man. When you're gay, my nigga, you, you like trans women. You like women who used to be men. Nigga, you're gay. Like, I'm sorry. That shit is fucking gay. You're gay, Malik. I'm sorry. You you came out the closet. You did not step up to nothing, my nigga. You came the fuck out the closet. You're gay. Like Fine, fine, fine. Have it your way. But I'll say this. Malik stepped up. I don't know what's going on with the allegations people are bringing up. But I Malik stepped up. Now, hear me out. Whatever Malik is doing, I don't know. But he stepped up for trans women. Yes, people don't date trans women. If you, most people's thing is, oh, you're trans. I'm sorry, I don't fucking date your kind. Like that's not even a joke. That's straight up how they they call trans women. I don't date your kind, motherfucker. It's a fucking woman. Like if you fine, maybe if they don't have the genitals you're looking for, or they can't, you know, you know, you're looking for like family and all that shit. Fine, those are valid reasons. But just because they're trans is such a dumb argument. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force you to date a trans woman, but if you're going to see something you like and you're gonna your first immediate reaction is like, Whoa! You're trans. Oh my god, this is so terrifying. Motherfucker, you see more terrifying things when you took a shit this morning. You know why? Because everybody walks out their house and just goes about their day. I'm pretty sure when men hit on trans men, you're a fucking gay man now. Think about it. The whole point of trans man is they're trying to be a man. So, therefore, you're just a gay man. Think about that shit for a minute, you fucking pussy ass bitches. I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful, but I'm getting sick of these people doing this shit. Like, if and it's worse because young people, like, when you go to school, your teacher is not, is not going to be like, yo, that's a fucking girl or boy. They're going to be like, that's... That's that. That's your your whatever gender or whatever you are. You're gonna just do that. But with like people, you're a grown ass adult. Get your shit together. Why you gotta act like that? Why you act like a fucking child, motherfucker? I didn't break your toys. You broke your goddamn toys. Clean up those fucking Legos, you dumb bitch. That's fucked up. I really don't like this girl. Like at least Lucas is a piece of shit. But sometimes he has a valid like small valid point where you just can't be completely mad. Like you can still be mad at him, but. You know, I never feel like I want to just want to tell you you're a fucking piece of garbage. Like, to the bottom of my heart. Like, yeah, Lucas is bad, but at least sometimes when he's not bad, he has, like, one valid point that saves him from being fucking trash. Like, that's it. This bitch fucking trash. Malik's not gay. Everybody who thinks they're gay because you like trans women, no. You like the female form. You like women. You're not a faggot. You're a straight man. You're not a gay man. Get that shit out of here. Your friend's telling you, fuck your friends. They're fucking wrong. Get the fuck out of there. You got to go find some better friends. Look, I'm not telling you to join the LGBT. I'm not telling you to, you're not straight. I'm not telling you you're not gay. I don't know what you want. You want what you want. You love what you love. That's who you are. Now go out there. You're going to find little Johnny over there. He's going to take you all the way to the clubs. He's going to tell you, this is the straight club. And right there, Johnny's going to tell you, that's the gay club. Now I'm going to tell you right now. If you go chasing after trans girls just to fuck them, then you know better than half those straight men going after white girls to fuck them when they black. What you mean? I don't even fucking know what I'm saying anymore. Because this bitch wasted my fucking time because she's so ignorant and more ignorant than fucking Lucas. What is happening? You know what I'm saying? To each own. You, you do you. But my nigga, you're gay. Let's just be fucking real here. Not only that, they kept referring to natural born women, like me, a natural born woman, as a cis woman. They were saying basically cis means 
uh, you accepted the gender that your doctor gave to you. This is something they said in the fucking video. Oh, yeah, when you was a baby, the doctor chose your gender. Like, you, they just chose your fucking gender, whatever the fuck they was doing. They, they, they chose your gender when you came out. Like, you didn't, you know what I'm saying? You didn't have any hand in that. You're not really what you were born. But if you choose to identify as what they labeled you as when you were born, you're cis. So technically, a cis man will be a male who was born with a penis, like, that came out as male. He identifies as a male. That's a cis man. Throw that shit out the window. That shit is some bullshit, nigga. I, don't call me no fucking cis woman. You know what? They said that on the show, like, oh, well, because uh, Envy asked, like, yeah, what do we call you? Like, what, what, what's the correct term to call you? Like, do we call you tranny, trans, and it was like, well, yeah, you know, some trans women identify as trans. Some of us identify as tranny. They take that power. Some of us just trans. I mean, identify as non-binary, you know. Then they're also bullshit. But it's like, bitch, okay, what we going that world? Don't call me no motherfucking cis woman. I'm not no cis woman. Like fucking hell, this bitch is a fucking wanker. You don't fucking understand this bitch, right? Fucking goddamn it, love. Fucking goddamn it. This bitch a fucking cis woman. How dare she act like she's not a cis woman? She has a fucking vagina. She's a cis woman. A sissy. A fucking cis woman. Fucking vagina. I'm enjoying saying vagina too much. She, she's a cis woman, and I'm not gonna agree it fully. You know, you know, you're. I'm. I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go half seas on this, cause I'm gonna say, fine, you're biologically this, but you can transition and be just the same as a biological woman, cause I, I believe there's somewhat, a little bit, there's somewhat on gender, a little bit like, oh, you're born this way, but the whole point of transitioning is to, you know, be comfortable about certain parts of you, because transitioning doesn't always mean like your whole thing. Like, let's say this, if I were to transition, I, I would, and I felt, cause there, this is how it works. Every part of the person's body has is caught may cause some form of dysphoria. You know, some women are fine about having a dick, and some aren't. So you know, they get bottom surgery, or they don't. Some people feel ugly about their face, so they get top surgery. Simple math. Same thing with trans men. I just want a dick. Let me slap that on right there. Let me keep those titties. That's simple. That's not that hard. Some just go, you know, just take the tits off. Give me a dick. Okay, we're gonna roll. That's simple. Cis woman is just a way to go, hey, you were born, you know, you were a woman and you decided to, you know, not be trans or be, you know, you didn't find yourself going, oh, I'm a boy. No, you found yourself as a girl and you're fine with being a girl because that's what you've been. You still identify as a girl and you haven't I seen yourself going, huh, I'm a boy. That's fine. Because good Lord, you know. Having to explain this shit twice. And, and this is, like, worse than, like, Lucas, I've already said. Like, Lucas is a piece of shit. But this person's just, like, two-faced, like, bitch. He's not gay. Why are you trying to make... And she's worse on Twitter. I'll pull her up on Twitter later. I hope I do. Cause I don't want fucking... That bitch is mean. Like, what a fucking bitch. We'll, we'll get to that bitch later, too. We ain't finished with her. We gonna roll up on the crib for the next time. Y'all know it, too. I'm coming for that ass. Natural born motherfucking woman. I'm a woman, baby. You're a trans woman, okay? Cool, do you? But baby, I'm a fucking woman. You ain't gotta put no goddamn sis in front of my shit. I'm not sis nothing. I'm motherfucking a woman. Point blank, period. I am a woman, okay? What the fuck you talking about? If I had a dick in between my legs, I would be a man. Like, my nigga, get the fuck out of here. These niggas was really wild. Oh, yeah, I'm a sis. I'm a cis man that, uh, that is attracted to trans women, but also cis women. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck are these, yo? These motherfuckers sounded insane. And then they went even as far as trying to compare being trans to being black. Like, Charlamagne was like, yeah, well, you know, what if I just say I don't care? Like, you do you. You do what you want to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? You be happy. You're a human. I really don't care who you fucking or who, what you got under your, under your damn underwear. I don't give a damn. They got the nerve to be like, oh, well, that just shows your privilege and being able to walk in spaces. Hi, baby. You got it. I gotta finish my video. I'm right back. <laughs> but yeah, so they try to say, oh, well, yeah, that just shows your privilege and how you can walk into spaces and people people assume things about you that lines up with what they already read about you or some shit like that. Like basically, you have a privilege of people assuming things about you that are already kind of true. The other now, what they're talking about is. 
say it with me now. Imagine if you live in a place where they hated anybody who's trans. Basically, if you were to walk out your house and somebody threw a rock at you, they could get away with that shit. Doesn't matter if you're on your property. They fucking dislike you. Even the police dislike you. You can't do anything about that shit. Look, I'm not going to agree with her video, but I, I kind of get what some people try to say. You know, why, why are you saying we're privileged? Like, we're all the same. I think it's the fact that so many people are so transphobic that we end up in situations where everything goes overboard. Like, both sides are going overboard to overcompensate for the problems. Trans, tran, the people who are trying to help the trans people overcompensate and make it harder to help trans people because they're trying to overcompensate to make things easier for them. Now, with LGBT people that aren't, you know, that are transphobic, they do exist. They go around and they 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 usually call the turf or whatever. Some people who are can who are straight people are turfs. Yeah, that's the thing. Now, when it comes to straight people, none of us see ourselves as privileged because, you know, well, think about it. You know, for us, nothing is really privileged. We still got to do the same things as trans people. The only difference is, you know, trans people, you know, have a harder time because they have to go through the form of passing. And passing is a fucking bitch for people. Like, have you seen some of those videos I've seen? Like, motherfucker, I don't think I could tuck. I don't think I have the Tucker Foley in me to tuck. No, that would break my balls. No, be seriously. Like, a lot of this is like voice training. Like, hey, how are you guys? It's really nice to meet you. Like, I can't hold that voice for very long. And I can tell you, these people are working so hard to, you know, be women. And they have to throw their voice like that all the time. And I can barely, you know, hold my voice like that for a really long time. And it's just really tough on me because you guys are just so wonderful. And I'm just like trying to help you guys out because I love and support every one of you. I don't even know if that sounded good, but that's like how it is. Like try holding a voice like that. Try actually, like guys, one of my big dreams is to be a voice actor. Like, and if I finish writing my book first, then that'll help me towards my goal too. Because I wanted to do both. So I can also be a voice actor and a writer, so it's not that hard. One of my big dreams, and uh, my other one is more important right now because I can finish it now. Now, this bitch, I don't give a shit what she does because she's just so bad. Like, you know, people work so hard, and then people like her invalidate it. Like, imagine if you work so hard in your life to only be told it wasn't good enough. It doesn't feel right. It feels crushing to work so hard and then be told still wasn't good enough it's just not right is oh well yeah you know uh it's just like how white people say they don't see color like it's the same thing like you're embracing my existence if you say i don't care bitch what are you fucking serious <laughs> Good luck, they, were really they was really fucking trying to really trying to compare being black to being tra what are you now I'm usually the one to disagree about this because these are two different things, but yes, I kind of get what they mean because slavery and being like gay or trans, you know, people don't acknowledge you like a person. Nowadays, black people can just go around doing whatever they want. That's simple. Like right now, if I were to bring back slavery right now, I would be a slave. No ifs, ands, or buts. Right now, people wouldn't acknowledge my existence. They'd be like, oh, you're a fucking slave, you fucking slave. Like, look at all the hard work people had to do just to get people to not be treated differently. To be treated as equals. And here we are now, treated as equals. And that's what I hope happens in the world. Like, guys, if you don't think trans women are women, that's fine. I'm not telling you to change right away. I'm telling you to try to at least, you know, treat them like people. You don't have to say it out loud that, you don't. you don't have to say it to their face. You can say they're women and move on your day. You know what? I'm telling you to move on. I'm telling you, don't make an argument that doesn't need to be an argument. You see a trans woman, you know what? Say, oh, you're a nice lady. Doesn't matter if they don't pass. Just, just give them a compliment. Hell, if you're a woman, give them more tips to look like a woman. That's the first point. I'm not trying to tell a man to cheat. Uh, hell, I've, ta I've, ta I've taught some trans men how to be a man. You know what I do? I just tell them, just do what a man does. I try, try to help people. You know, you have people you love, tell them sometimes. You don't always have to tell them. You know, be discreet when staring at a girl. Like, good lord. Like, that's not even a joke. Like, motherfucker, you ever see me on my phone be like, do 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 do? 
Like, that's not a joke. I'm over here thinking like a human being. Like, I can't get caught. What happens when I get caught? I'm going to be fucked. Like, you don't want to look like a creep when you're looking at pretty women. That's common sense. But you know what? People won't do that. You know why people won't do that? Let me get a sip for it. Because people are scared and afraid of things that they don't understand. And when they do understand, sometimes they don't like it. And I get that. And I'm not going to force you to change. I'm telling you, just give it a chance. I'm not telling you it's going to change right away or it's going to change and it's going to make things worse. I don't know if it's going to change and make things better. But I know with great power comes great responsibility. And you have the power to help so many people. You have so many things you can do. You are a, you just like everybody else is special, and you can do so many amazing things. And you know me sitting here talking about this person, yeah, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It just isn't. But you know when we actually go out and do things, you know maybe you know may if you work out a, a salon, if you know anyone who's trans or having trouble even being uh, you know being gay or something, go out and help them. Help them meet people. It's not that hard. You know lend a hand. Look, I'm not going to make you do it. You don't have to. That one's up to you. People don't tell me to do the right thing because it's the right thing. I do it because I feel wrong. I feel like not doing the right thing is wrong. And I'm not going to tell you that you're doing the right thing. That's something you got to figure out on your own. Look, I'm not the most mature person. I'll say that right now. I don't make decisions. I live a privileged life. I've never had any problems. You, if you heard someone say, oh, there's racism, I probably wouldn't know what it is. Sexism, I don't know what that is. You know what? I lived a simple life. I don't have any problems in my life. Yes, I've been molested and tried to kill myself. But out of all those things, those aren't the things that bother me. Those don't make me hate my life. I've still lived a privileged life. Those are minor fucking things. Yet people are over here having a fucking hissy fit like children over trans women either being women or not. If you find them as women then you should just go with the women. And if you don't, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. Sometimes it's best to just keep your mouth shut. You know, sometimes, you know, take a lesson you learned and apply it. It's not that hard. Just try. You don't have to do it all in one step. People are there to help you for a reason. If you need help, you can always turn to somebody. Your friends, your family. And if you don't have anyone to turn to, you can always, you know, call for help. People are always going to be there around somewhere to help you. And that's just how it is. First of all, you're talking to a black man. Black men, even if we just want to go that route, do, definitely do not have the privilege of walking into a space and be assumed and are assumed one thing that they really are. Like, come on, first of all, there's a whole negative stereotype around fucking black men. Are you dead ass? There's a whole system against black people in general. Like, have you never assimilation about black black women not being aware of their fucking natural hair about black people doing the white voice and having to talk like this just so people won't assume they're fucking thugs and uneducated have you ever fucking thought like my nigga what are you talking about that shit is wild like oh my gosh these niggas was really trying to like, like no one is trying to erase now i'm gonna make this one quick yes there are some still bad things happen to black people i don't know what they're what they are they, they still probably happen but it's not as bad as it would have been today. Like, looking back in the old days. I'm pretty sure we'd still be drinking from different fucking tap water. Like, the fucking rusty tap water. Motherfucker, right now, we'd be sitting on the back of the fucking bus. Don't even try that shit. Don't pull that shit when you know it's not as bad as it used to be. Yes, things are still bad. There are still bad neighborhoods. You know what we can do? We can start trying to fix that shit. Sometimes it's gonna take a while. Yeah. <coughs> Gun violence is still around. But you know why? Because we still haven't tried enough. Hell, people are making bulletproof backpacks. No! You know what you do? You find a way to still allow people to have guns, but you still gotta find a way to make it safe for everybody. Just because you took the guns doesn't mean more won't show up. And just because you didn't take the guns away doesn't mean it's gonna stop all the violence. People are still gonna do bad things with anything. Hell, right now. I'll, you know what? I'm gonna get my meat cleaver. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit! my phone.
fucking meat cleaver for this shit. I don't understand. I'm so fucking sick of this shit. Guys, look, I get it. It's pretty tough. But, you know, the whole thing about talking like a thug and all that shit, you know? I, I live in a, a nice neighborhood, so I don't talk like, oh, my nigga, what's up, my nigga? No, I don't do that shit. Look, just because you grow up in a black neighborhood doesn't mean you're going to act like a thug. And growing up in a white neighborhood is not going to make you act like a thug. It's how you live and how you act. Everyone acts differently. Everyone does different shit. It's how people are. Some people think black people are unsophisticated. Some people think white people are unsophisticated. Everyone's unsophisticated and everyone's educated. Get that fucking shit out your head. This is why we got so many dumb differences between our peoples. You see one person and you think it's all of them. Stop that fucking shit. I'm so sick and tired of people doing dumb shit because they're not fucking intelligent. Go out and read a book. Go learn some shit. Go and actually talk to people because it's not as clear as you think. Their existence. Nobody is trying to dis disregard their narrative, their experiences as trans black people. Nobody is trying to say that on trans LGBT. I'm sorry, uh, black LGBT. Nobody's trying to disregard their fucking experience. They're not trying to say that. I'm not trying to say you're not having a different experience than me as a black person, even though we both black and you're LGBT. Anybody trying to say that? You may be having a, a different experience as me, but you're not going to sit up here and try to say that. Your shit is just worse or some shit like that. Or like we gonna we gonna compare struggles and shit like that. Like we're not about to we're not about to do that because at the end of the day it comes down to black. It was really hypocritical because at one point you said, oh well that's a white LGBT thing and they have privilege of you know going into gay spaces and all this other bullshit about coming out and turn around and act like your struggles isn't really because you're black. Because at the end of the day it's a race thing. It's not about no motherfucking LGBT. Okay, it's about race okay it's race it's racial disparities within lgbt which they didn't really go too far in but my nigga let's just be real at the end of the day white lgbt have privilege because they're white like point blank period period whether it was lgbt or not they have privilege because they are fucking white and you don't because you are fucking black now as much as i shit on her for being so horrible she brings up one point and that's in the lgbt if you're trans and you're black you're more likely to get your skull caved in because you're a black trans woman. Now, the reason for that is there are people who are racist and will find an excuse to go after a, a black trans woman purposely, knowing she's trans, to use the Trans Panic Act as an excuse to get away with the murder. Now, in a lot of cases, this actually is what happened. And it's usually a, a white man of color, of, of, of race, who ends up you know, going after a trans woman and purposely killing them. No, 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 like, like, like straight up purposely, but since it still counts under the trans panic act because he did say he was tricked and everything, he's still able to get away with a legitimate murder. And this only happens with black trans women with trans women. It's usually, you know, white on white, maybe a black, black on white. And yes, they do get away, but it's more common with black trans women because so many more racist people are out there because they go out of their way to purposefully, you know, find a way to be racist by using transphob transphobicness to get away with it because think about it if if people want to see you as transphobic and not racist you know less people are likely to deal with you as an issue because think about it racism is much worse than transphobism now that sounds rude but it is true think about it if you're a racist then you look bad to everybody you look bad to Indians. You look bad to, to, to poor, you look bad to Mexicans. You look bad to everybody because now they see you as public enemy number one. Because being racist is much worse than being a fucking dick to a specific group. That's a, that's racist to everybody, especially because this is a stereotype: is white people are racist, but it's not true. There are plenty of white people who aren't racist, and it's usually white people who end up you know, having a racial indifference with people of color and other colors. And it, and it's, it is it's something that perpetuates because it's so seen and so common. And I, I think one of the big issues is that we don't hear about it a lot. We hear more, you know, black people on the news because as, as bad as I'll say it, black people be doing the dumbest shit sometimes. And sometimes they're not. But it's because we digest so much media. We're so used to different things and some things happening. Like right now, I can walk and go out on a date with a trans woman who's white and nobody would notice. Like, but if I were to go on a date with a black trans woman, somebody would have something to say. Now, that's not always going to be the same thing. Who knows? Something else might happen. It could turn out the other way around. These are all things that can happen. 
I'm saying it's more frequent because racist people are more likely to creep up on a trans person because it's a lot easier to get away with being racist if they can't say you're racist. bullshit because at the end of the day it comes back down to race like that's what the fuck it comes back down to i hate when people try to compare the the big the being black to being lgbt i'm sorry you cannot fucking com you can't compare the two you can't do it one you can choose one you can't one you can tell just by looking at you can tell i'm black just by looking at me one you can't the fuck is the fuck with this guy with the whole dress you can't tell that nigga he gay even though you know what i'm saying you suss him eyes but you cannot sit up here and say just because he got on the dress he like fucking niggas you know what I'm saying? he got on some tight jeans and a purse he like fucking niggas you don't know what the fuck he likes when he get in the bed so my nigga it's just it's not it's not the same like it's just not the fucking same then and it's funny because throughout this whole thing it's like they're trying to have an open conversation and oh they're 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 trying to open people's mind up they want to start the conversation and get people more educated they they said in the beginning you're supposed to be an educated conversation when really throughout the whole interview every time they said something that they didn't really like or question that they they thought was rude or something like that they felt was rude they got triggered really what the fuck it was like the conversation like you could just tell like they they, they got offended you know what I'm saying? instead of being open-minded like they claimed they was there to be they was getting offended when matter of fact perfect example when envy asks oh well i mean not envy charlamagne charlamagne asks oh well, well when did you guys know that you were trans like how when did you know that and automatically the gay dude in the trans is like oh, well, well when did you know when when did you know you were straight and even matter of fact one of the trans girls even as goes goes as far as to say well when did you know you were black what? What the fuck are you t What are you talking about? Like, what my nigga, first of all, I knew I was straight. If we want to get... Now, I'm going to have to agree with her here a little bit. Now, it, guys, if somebody asks you a question sometime, and you want to educate people, sometimes you got to answer. Look, if somebody were to ask me, am I trans? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to either answer the question with a yes or a no. And if, if I was trans, which I am not, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to say I'm not trans. And if people, you know, think I'm, you know, gay or something, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm not gay or something. That That's, that's simple, you know, because I'm not gay. So that that's a whole thing. Yeah. I'm so tired because, like, hey, like, I get sick of their shit. Like... Yes, you got to answer some questions if you want to understand. Like, don't tell somebody, I, you know, guys, I knew I was straight-ish, I guess. I don't fucking know. Guys, I'm just one person. You know, my opinion does not matter. Some people know they're trans at a certain age. Some people say nine. And look, as much as sometimes I want to disagree because, you know, maybe a teenager because a teenager knows better. Now, it is possible to be trans at a young age just a little bit before puberty but that's very rare and if it does happen at a younger age then you might have to wait a little bit and i'm not trying to say i'm trying i'm not trying to limit you know transitioning and everything i'm saying you know it's best to wait a little bit to fully make sure because once you transition you cannot untransition transitions are permanent that's why I want, you know, patience. Hormone blockers outright stop the human body from functioning the way it should. Which is why so many people are so hesitant, you know, to pop them on their child. That's why so many people say, well, if you have a daughter, don't put her on hormone blockers. Just wait till she's ready. Then you can go testosterone. You can go drop that bass real deep, baby. That's what they do. Because testosterone makes your voice deep. But with trans, with people trying to become, you know, male to female, uh, basically can't do any of that. Your voice is going to get deep because you didn't take hormone or, or estrogen and all that. No, no, no. That testosterone, you're going to get a voice like this. Instead of a voice, wait. Instead of a voice like this, uh, I, I can't even tell. Like, hey, you guys are really, you guys are like super nice and that's like really great. And I really love working with you guys and it's super sweet. Like, I think that's the voice. I don't fucking know. Guys, I can't honestly tell you when i'm talking in a male or female voice like it hurts my throat and i'm dying but i can tell you young ages you know people you know don't some people have different ages and some people sometimes it does you know end the, dys the dysphoria sometimes it does not sometimes people are dead set and fully fully aware of the dysphoria and you can't understand this stuff and i honestly hope that if a person is dysphoric and they really are 
they get the help they need and everything. That's just it. And I'll, we're almost done with this person's video. I'm I'm so tired. Like, I I went to my girlfriend's house and we ended up watching Kitchen Nightmares about Chef Ramsay's, and it was fun. We had a lot of fun. Like, I did have to leave uh, eventually, and it was a long walk back. Like, it's an hour walk back and forth. So yeah, I'm really tired, and I'm doing this video and like so quickly. I hope it's good. I really do. And Charlemagne is like, oh, well, you know, uh, oh, well, you know, I, really, I never really thought about it. That's a good question. Like, I never really thought about it. Uh, I'm like, nigga, how hard it when you kissed your first girl and you fucking liked it? When you started crushing, when you started having feelings for a girl and uh, feelings you couldn't explain for a woman. That's that's how you knew you were straight. When you got a hug, when you uh, so when you started realizing women had beautiful fucking physical features, that's how you knew you was attracted to a woman. What do you mean? Like, my nigga, it's not that... It's not that fucking complicated. Like they try to act like, oh, this is this is um they were born this way and shit like that. They push this whole narrative like, oh, cis women giving birth to trans to trans kids or to non-binary kids. And it's like, no, man, nigga, these kids ain't coming out like, oh, I wanna be a girl. Oh, I like boys. I'm a boy who like boys. Kids ain't think about that shit. They ain't even thinking that far ahead. What are you talking about? Oh, well, kid, when kids, when they are five years old, they start to understand their place in life. And then what? They have a very surface level. They're just now, they ain't even got to the Surgeon. They're just now trying to figure out what what their place is in life. They're not thinking about oh well I'm a girl and I like I, I like boys but I'm not sure but I actually want to be a boy. Like what are you talking about? It's like they try to ignore the fact that you had to go through experiences to get to where you are. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what the fuck your gender or sexuality you think your gender is, should I say, or what your sexual sexuality is. Regardless of what that you had to go through things to shape what you are now. So it's like for them to say oh well oh wait wait. When was you, when was you born? I mean, when did you know you were straight? When did you know when you were born? It's like money. Almost fucking done. Oh my God. I'll say it right now. Uh, <clears throat> say it with me. Uh, you can, because trans women and trans men can be straight, you know. Trans women like men, therefore straight. If they like women, lesbian. Same thing with trans men liking men, gay. It's not liking men and liking women, straight. Simple math. That's, you know, their, their gender is male and female. They like their sex their sexual or their sexuality likes likes women likes men simple fucking math my good lord my brain is melting please now we're almost done here and then you guys can you know put me to rest because i died on this hill i didn't have to fight just for you guys everybody has that pivot point in their life when i kissed my first black and then the first one i kissed my first boy when i had my first boyfriend you know what i'm saying like my nigga no that was a pivot point in my life. Like, why? I, I really like boys. Like, damn, these niggas are fine. Like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, my nigga, that was a pivot point in my life when a girl tried to smack at me and I was like, bitch, get the fuck away from me. Like, that shit felt uncomfortable. I didn't like that. That was a pivot point in my life. How hard was it for them to just say that? You know what I'm saying? They're trying to push this narrative like kids are non-binary. Kids are, kids are, uh, uh, there are transgender kids. Like, that's fucking bullshit. I'm sorry. Even with them trying to uplift, um, Malik talked about his friend sending a picture of her, of his son of their son that's really what the fuck it was who had transitioned to a girl and he was like yeah it was just beautiful it was just amazing and i'm like what that shit is sick you're praising this parent who just let their boy transition into a fucking girl and they're now right here i'm gonna kind of let her pass because i still have my my unsure bias <coughs> oh my god this bitch is killing me basically yes um, the person that transitioned was still a young boy. He wasn't even a teenager. He was about seven, eight, or nine. Uh, he transitioned, and look, I'm not gonna say it's bad, but if he's actually, you know, he's actually happy, or or she's happy, uh, great, good for them. I honestly hope that they're happy, and I hope their son or daughter, because I I wasn't paying attention, is happy. Uh, honestly, if their if their daughter or son is happy, that's great. That means, you know, some people do transition at a young age and are happy and are going to go on the rest of their life like this. And if she's unhappy, that is such a sad disappointment because I honestly just want people to be happy. That's just it. When people are happy, you know, at the end of the day, you know, that means things are getting better and things are changing. It's not perfect, but, you know, things are happening. You're praising this parent who just let their boy transition into a fucking girl. And they're not even 10 years old. He said this little boy was not even, was less than 10 years old. You're telling me at, at fucking 7, 8 years old.
years old, you know if you want to be a boy or girl, you you know for sure for the rest of your life I'm ready to be a fucking girl. What are you talking about? Like, women, you know, so that's why I'm not with the whole giving hormones or giving puberty blockers to kids. Like, that whole transition is a fucking dub. If you want to do that shit when you 18 and you outside the house, you make your fucking decisions. But in my house, I don't give a fuck if you say you want to be a girl or boy. Uh, my nigga, you are what the fuck you are. <laughs> you are what the fuck you are when you came up my goddamn womb. A boy, you a boy. You gonna dress like a boy. Like, my nigga, I'm gonna put you in spaces with other fucking men. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So, yes, th that's the things, all of the things in this damn video. Like, they just, they, this shit. Man, what a mean bitch. It's not like I've been saying this the whole video. Well, goddamn. I don't even want, I'm like, I'm not your fucking kid. Your kid would have ran away. <laughs> Mom, I'm gay. Get the fuck out of this house, bitch. I'm pretty sure if she found out any of her kids was trans, she wouldn't even accept them back in her fucking house. I'm not even trying to be rude. I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. Like, if your kid is really sure about this shit, you know what you do? You talk to them, you know. You, you talk to them. You get to understand it. Look. A lot of people aren't going to have trans kids. They're not. Some kids aren't trans. Some are. But that's only a small percent. And yes, I get it. You know, a small percent doesn't seem like a lot. But to a lot of people, it really is a big amount. Helping that many people, even if it's not a big enough, is still something you should do. Think about it. Let me ask any of you. You end up in a situation where your kid is, is gay or LGBT. You know, they're gay or trans or lesbian. You're going to really turn them away? You're going to say all these 18 years I spent loving and caring for you? You're just going to say, bye, I don't love you anymore because you're a little different? No, that's dumb. That's ridiculous. Unless your child's going around murdering somebody, uh, you should love your fucking child. That's simple fucking math. This is why people, you know, this is why people bring up so many dumb things about religion because these parents are are taking the love of their child and throwing it away. You loved your child for 18 years. I understand, you know, you love what you love. But when you throw away one of the things that is important to you, then did you even love your child to begin with? Did you even love, you know, everything you've had? Like you're taking it for granted. Look. It's not perfect, but you know, it's something, it's, it's something, it's something that I understand, look, I'm not gonna say people are perfect, I'm not gonna say people are good, I'm not gonna say any, anybody's imperfect, but the way people are acting now, it's just so bad, and it's honestly a shame that nobody's gonna get the help they need, because everyone's squabbling like children every day, like, I understand, you know, you know, I say, wait till they're at least a teenager, or at least until they're an adult, but, you know, squabbling like children is only going to make things worse. And people who actually do need that help now are just going to commit suicide and they're not going to get help. It's honestly depressing.